Hi, my name is Jenna Williams, and our lovely volunteer today is Ms. Carey. She has agreed to allow me to practice some of these sensory motor integration techniques on her today. And we are first going to start with our labial facilitation. So first, we need to find these facilitation points. So we're going to get a little closer in. Okay, where are they? They are right here, 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 and here. Now, if Carrie had a hypertense oral mechanism, then I would apply pressure to these facilitation points to relax her musculature. And you could even add in some stretching to help stimulate these muscles. Now, if one of her sides were weaker than the other, then I would obviously spend more time on that side. And if Carrie had a hypotonic lip musculature, then I would use a tapping approach on the facilitation points to help to get these muscles to fire. So it would be like this. All right, and now our second practice that I'm going to do on her is to get her to purse her lips. So first, I'm going to circle the orbicularis oris with my frozen glycerin swab. Okay, and I'm going to do that a few times very fluidly and smoothly. Now I'm going to brush more inward to get her to pucker her lips. Okay, can you pucker for me? Good. Now I'm going to do this again, but quicker. Ready? And it's always good to follow these activities with a functional motor practice. Now, Carrie, could you say two, two, poo, poo, moo, moo. Very good. Thank you. So the third technique that we are going to be demonstrating today is how to get our client to retract their lips. Um, for example, if a client had a stroke, then we may practice this exercise with them. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to just stroke across the lips three times. One, two, three. Now, then I'm going to stimulate the muscle that taps into the orbicularis oris by going inward to the lips. Just fast, rapid motions. And next, we are going to stimulate unilateral weakness by still using the frozen glycerin swab. I'm going to circle her mouth a few times from the stronger side to the weaker side. Now we're going to be pretending that Carrie's left side is her weaker side today. So we're going to start over here. We're going to go around the orbicularis oris and we're circling her mouth. Okay, now we're going to use what we know of the muscles and we're going to be trying to stimulate them over here. And just like in before, it's always best to follow these exercises with a functional exercise. So Carrie, can you say E? E. Me? Me. V? V. And smile, please. Very good. Do you feel it? Do you feel it being stimulated? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Our fifth technique that we are going to discuss is thermal stimulation. And thermal stimulation is typically just meant to increase your sensory awareness of the fascial pillars. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take a frozen glycerin swab fresh out of the freezer, and I'm going to stroke her fascial pillars rapidly, probably only about five times on either side since Carrie is a normal functioning oral mechanism. All right, Carrie, if you could just point your flashlight. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, now we're going to do this one more time, and I'm going to break out my tongue depressor to help me get back there. All right, Carrie, could you stick out your tongue, please? Okay, and face the camera and come a little closer for me. Thank you. And get back there. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Swallow? Yeah, because you want to swallow. <laughs> Does it? Okay, so it definitely triggered that pharyngeal swallow, didn't it? All right. So this was really just meant to wake up those sensory receptors to prepare her to swallow that bolus. Did you feel prepared to swallow that bolus? <laughs> Absolutely. All right, good. So the next exercise that we're going to be practicing is triggering that palatal reflex. So we're really just looking for that palate to lift up. And I'm going to be using my handy... Frozen glycerin swab. This is a new one. I have been changing them out between each one. And we're going to be looking at that oval area between her nasal spine and in front of her uvula. All right, now, Carrie, if you could just, very good, you already know. All right, now we want to, see, oh, very good. Okay. 
So we're going to be looking for that uvula to really lift up. One, two, three. Nice. We saw a nice lift right there. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be using another technique that also triggers that palatal reflex. And this uses a vertical stroke to stimulate the weaker side, the stronger side, and then the center. And like we said earlier, Carrie's weaker side today is her left side. All right. Ready? One, two, three. Nice. Very, very good palatal reflex. And so our next technique is going to increase tongue base retraction. So what we're going to do is we go from the weaker side to the stronger side. And today, like we said, Carrie's left side will be her weaker side. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use my swab and I'm going to just stroke from left to right at the base of her tongue. <laughs> and basically what you'll notice is that almost always triggers the swallow reflex. And another exercise you can use to increase the tongue base retraction is I'm going to find her hyoid in the base of her tongue right here with my finger. Okay, there it is. And I'm also going to elicit that palatal lift that we did earlier. And I should be able to feel with my hand her tongue retracting. Okay, so I'm going to find that oval shape between her nasal spine and in front of her uvula. And we are going to be watching for that uvula to lift up. So we do need the flashlight. Okay, thank you. And come a little closer. And then just pull the flashlight down here. Very good. All right. Very good, and I felt that tongue retracting. Very good. Now the next technique that we're going to be doing is one that should increase lingual curling. And all I'm going to do right here is have Carrie stick out her tongue and look straight on at the camera. And I need a little flashlight. It's kind of dark. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm just going to stroke medially. One. And you'll notice that the sides of her tongue are curling up and it's almost falling, forming a bowl-like shape. And this is a normal reaction to this. And the next exercise we're going to be doing should reduce elevation in her posterior tongue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do long, even strokes from the both sides. And then I'm going to work my way into the center. All right? One, one, two, two. You can see that the posterior base of the tongue is depressing. So our next techniques are going to help us elongate and elevate that tongue tip. And at first I'm going to just glide along the lateral edge from the posterior to anterior direction. And I'm really going to be focusing on these transverse muscles to help elongate that tongue. Okay, could you just stick out your tongue for me? Okay, ready? We're going to do one, one, two, two, three. And notice that I did not touch the center to help elongate the tongue. And then we're going to just stroke upwards rapidly. Up, 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 Good. And try and touch your teeth. Good. All right. And then the next one that also helps to elevate the tongue is I'm going to just glide along those lateral edges of the tongue with short, rapid strokes bilaterally and then on the blade as well. So go ahead and stick it out. Ready? One, two, three, four. Up, 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 up. Good. And one more time. Stick your tongue out. One, one, two, two, three, three. Up, 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 up. Good. And try and just push. Good. And how did that feel? Still sour. <laughs> Still sour. I'm <laughs> sorry here. Um, which one was easier for you to lift your tongue? Probably the second. The second one. Okay. And I'm going to offer you a glass of water because I know you've had a lot of lemon glycerin today. All right. And typically, clients with more difficulty with tongue elevation, we want to stroke upwards on the underside of their tongue and put some pressure underneath their tongue tip. So we're going to go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll put some pressure. Pressure. Go up. Good. Very, very good. And our very last technique will be to reduce that lingual deviation on protrusion. Like we said earlier, Carrie's weaker side is her left side. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this thermal stimulator, my frozen glycerin swab, and I'm going to use some short rapid strokes on her weaker side first, then on her stronger side, then I'm going to do it on her edges. So I'm going to have you stick out your tongue. I'm going to start out over here on the weaker side, just dab, 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 dab. And then on the stronger side, I'm going to move it on her edges a little bit. All right, very good. And then I'm going to stroke diagonally away from the side of deviation. And release. Thank you, Carrie, for participating and being such a good sport. <laughs>